Welcome everyone. We are going to ask a very important question today, and that is why AI is accelerating faster than most expected. And most don't even recognize how fast it accelerates. Why is it so important to understand how fast AI is accelerating? Because AI is the most important technology ever invented. It is the only technology that becomes a competitor to the foundational human trait, which is intelligence. And so it's very important that we track exactly how this acceleration is going. And what you see here, uh, I copied that, by the way, from David Shapiro's video. David is amazing. He's one of the, I think, best AI thinkers. He has a channel on YouTube. I hope to have maybe a discussion at some point. And David is a, is a great thought leader. And he, uh, in his latest video on AI acceleration, uh, has this graph that basically tells you a whole range of scoring for notable models. And there's a, uh, there's a mathematic frontier model, right? There is abstract reasoning, there's software engineering. So there's a whole bunch of metrics that are being measured. And you know, you don't have to understand all details of this chart, but what you see is here, you basically see the percentage of test scores and how they evolved over the last years starting from 2023 and you see this is like in six months increments kind of um and what you see is we see a very exponential rise in the quality of the intelligence in the test scores and i tell you these models or these tests designed to test the models you're talking about models when you reach 100 percent where you are basically outperforming most phds and this is really going into artificial general intelligence and ASI. Long story short, what we see in 2025, that we are on this exponential real world trajectory in AI across a whole range of abstract reasoning, math, software engineering. So it's a broad set of things. This is dramatic acceleration. You see this green thing from, I think, that cool blog, wait, but, wait, but how or something. And you see that we are at this inflection point to exponential intelligence. More importantly, that this year, 2025, we are approaching AGI. And AGI means artificial general intelligence. Hey, creating these videos is a lot of work. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Now let's get back to the video. We have some more acceleration topics here. I put this into a table. On the technical acceleration, we see, for example, these are different metrics, inference cost reduction. So how much is it to actually apply AI? And you see this massive reduction from $20 per million tokens in 2022 to only 7 cents per million tokens. Think about that. And if you don't know how this works, tokens are basically a measurement of how much inference you use. So if you tell the AI, if you tell Grok, if you tell ChatGPT, oh, you know, create a table and show me the acceleration. It has a certain number of tokens. And that went down from $20 to 7 cents. And this is not the end. It's going to continue on that. So massive, massive cost reduction in intelligence. You see that, you know, AI enabled PC sales. So that means some inference chips, some inference capabilities and some software on there. Uh, we see a 165% year over year growth. That is exponential explosion of AI capabilities in consumer products or end products, software engineering productivity. While well, this is a little vague, right? But Morgan Stanley said, you know, we are, we are seeing a 10 times increase due to AI coding tools. Think about that. You know how important software is in the economy. So we see a 10 times increase in productivity in coding that already led to mass layoffs. No one is talking about it, but we see mass layoffs in engineering and coding as we speak all across you know, the, the nation uh, and in Europe and all, all across the world, but starting in Silicon Valley, I mean, this is, we are already in the middle of job implosion in the most important job in AI, which is software engineering. Zuckerberg talked about it in his latest interview that they're working on a dedicated AI. Their biggest AI investment is actually an AI that no one sees that is only coding the meta AI. So the big AI framework that is only designed to code AI. That's where they invest the most money, interestingly enough. Hyperscalers, CapEx, also very important. Look at this, $250 billion. We approached that CapEx number for the hyperscaler. So this is spent on brains, on super brains, on AI factories, mostly NVIDIA. AMD also capitalized a little bit on that. Internal chips by Google, Amazon, and Tesla, of course, but it's mostly NVIDIA chips. 
So here that tells you $250 billion in CapEx. That's a lot of CapEx and it's going up. So that's happening. Here's some other metrics, uh, revenue growth. Well, that's a little boring. We are pre before inflection here to see the actual revenue growth, but you see, you know, OpenAI already makes billions. Grok probably makes billions very soon. If you, you know, factor in how many premium X accounts actually are premium X accounts because of Grok. Total AI investments from major players, 420 billion. That's a lot of money that is happening. And I can go on and on and on. Why is it so important that we are seeing this massive acceleration in AI? I think it's important because most of us don't even recognize what is happening, how much is happening, and how exponential that acceleration is. Because, you know, we saw this amazing chat GPT moment. We saw how people got very excited. And then some people said, oh, that was so lame 2022. It looked all amazing, but nothing happened in 2023 and 2024. That is a huge misconception because as Elon said, disruptive innovation happens first incrementally and very slow, and then it happens all at once. It's true for robo taxis and Tesla, but it's also true for a much bigger thing, which is artificial general intelligence. And all these metrics, and if you look into the details, how Grok evolves, how OpenAI and O3 evolves, all the models, when you look and plot that on lines, you see exponential explosion. And you see an exponential acceleration towards this AGI point, artificial general intelligence. And that AGI point will be extremely important. And when you plot it all out, you see that it will happen this year. That is my prediction. I said it before. And I also mentioned that the singularity already happened in my book, because the singularity is the point in time where AI can self-improve and code itself. And when you really think it through what that means, there will be a human in the loop for a very long time for many reasons. So the question is not when the singularity happens as a dot on the timeline. It is more a period. And the start point of the singularity period is when we see massive improvements by deploying AI in coding itself. And as you just saw, we already have a X improvement in software coding engineering capability of the AI coders. Why? Because they use AI. And we already saw DeepSeek, for example, self-improving. It just got the order to invent something that improves its efficiency. And it did it by itself and recoded itself and improved by 10%. Hey, if you want to stay ahead of the great transformation that is happening through AGI, join us in Pioneerlands. Here we share the latest AI insights from around the world, find capital opportunities and track political change. It's free. Link in the description. Let's get back to the video. So in my book, we have reached the singularity. It's just going to accelerate from here. All that is very important because if it's true that we are hitting AGI this year, we will see massively exponential effects on the world in 2026. That is not, that's not long out. That is happening now. And I know behind the scenes, when I talk to CEOs in Europe and the United States, a lot of people on a CEO level take this very seriously and are already working on mass implementation of AI in pilot projects, but also very strategic projects that impact their workforce and brings AI to them. So my takeaway here for this video is AI is accelerating and we are post the inflection point, not before. And we have to expect in the next 12 months, some major, major disruption because we are post that inflection point. A lot of things are still invisible to the general public, but now it's just a matter of months before it becomes very visible. It will hit the economy like a train, it will lead to mass extinction of jobs starting next year and accelerating into 2027 and 28. It will be a total shit show. And that's the first wave of the AI problem. Of course, on the other side of that is if you own Tesla shares, okay, you're, you're well off. If you own Nvidia shares, probably Microsoft shares, Meta shares, of course, you're going to make a total killing on that because all the lost jobs means improved margins for the companies who do it and massive productivity increase. So there will be huge winners and there will be hundreds of millions of losers. So that's how we look at the whole thing. That was my AI acceleration segment.